Well, welcome. It's uh, fine and, and great to be part of social media because they give hints to us, right? There was a text somewhere on you know, Facebook. I'm looking at it on Facebook and it's called White Sore Icon Theme. It looks kind of a macOS thing. And I thought, is it available on the AWAR? So that's the first reflex you should have. Is it available on AOR? And just a number away. Click, boom, enter, and you install it. You hate it or you like it. Pseudo Pacma minus R, S maybe, and remove it again. And good, right? But let's have a look. Because changing our icons is always fun, and um, there are so many out there, right? So this is what we have. We go through appearance we go to icons and it's w so it's at the bottom somewhere we have this okay and uh, we have white sur dark probably the most most of the time it's because icons down here in the system panel change but i don't see anything change for now but there will be a difference between a white sur and a white sur dark so I don't know. I'm gonna go, go for this one. Now, maybe you've noticed as well, when I typed this, a lot of things came with it. There's a cursor theme and the KDE theme, which I don't require now, right? It's I'm on XFCE, but I could type two space three. Then I get the GTK theme in and I get the cursor theme in and we can do some more fun. And they use the GTK engines I see and the murine engine. I always think about this this big fish there. Dangerous fish for the divers. That attacks if yeah, threatened, I suppose. And that's it. Installed. Fun again. So this really looks yeah. Okay, this certainly looks a lot like. Yeah, of course we have our own icons, right? Our own icons are not known to other icon developers, right? So, appearance. Yeah, I remember that icon there. So, we have the icons, right? And we have the style all the way down. Ooh, lots of options. Let's open something up like this one. Oh, we didn't look at Control H. Well, yeah why not why not right why not as a future system but then of course hey you need to love mac huh? if you don't if you hate mac then you have a problem <laughs> dark alt dark solid dark solid alt light yep this pretty much resembles mac light alt light solid okay that's that's what happens actually not bad light alt a bit different here i did not see that and this is a solid well the bar is solid and this keeps uh, stays transparent what do i like right transparency is actually quite nice but if we go for dark then this will be transparent dark alt uh-huh dark solid is really black black but still transparent here and dark salt alt hmm i'm gonna go for something white this time not solid light alt or this one not sure what this reference is so either this or that fits my approval for today so guys, it's all about tweaking, as they call it, rising. One last thing I want to show you. Oh, we have some things here that are wrong, right? You see, these icons are gone. So we better take something else there. Appearance, that's probably it. Might be this one, or it might be the icons. Right, so this one is what I chose. Icons, this one. Okay, that's better. So let's take that one. 
And now let's go for the cursor. Eh? Let's not forget there is a cursor somewhere in here. Mouse and touchpad theme. And then we have comics cursors as well. Flat pad cursors, premium, simple, soft. White Sir Cursor. I don't think I like this one. <laughs> right? It's up to you. Um, we're in a blue kind ish, blue kind thing. Maybe we keep this blue thing together. Anything blue? Yeah, I believe I created this one Oxygen Nail. This is one of my own, not my creation, that's something else. But we made uh, videos about it how to make a package build, and well, voila. The icon is now part of our ecosystem. So now we have this entirely up to you to hate it or to like it, to install it or not. But this is now our system for a while. All right. Cheers.